Demo 5.5 Create Quotation In this demo, we will create a quotation. Use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to Create Quotation Transaction. Alternatively, enter the transaction code VA21 in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the desired transaction. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the arrow next to the menu label. In the Logistics menu, expand the Sales and Distribution menu. In the Sales and Distribution menu, expand the Sales menu. In the Sales menu, expand the Quotation menu. In the Quotation menu, select Transaction VA21 Create. This is the Create Quotation initial screen. We must first select a quotation type. Click on the search icon to the right of the Quotation Type field to display a list of options. The screen displays the available types of quotations. Select the QT Quotation option and click Enter. Next, we must select the Sales Organization for the quotation. Click on the search icon to the right of the Sales Organization field to display a list of options. The system displays the available sales organizations. Select UE00 US East and click the Enter icon. Next, we must select the distribution channel for the quotation. Click on the search icon to the right of the distribution channel field to display a list of options. There is only one option for distribution channel in this sales organization. Click the Enter icon. Next, we must select the division for the quotation. Click on the search icon to the right of the division field to display a list of options. The system displays the options for division. Select BI Bicycles and click the Enter icon. The initial data are now complete. To proceed, click on the Enter icon. The system displays the Create Quotation Overview screen. The screen is divided into a header area and an items area. The data for the items are divided into numerous tabs, Sales, Item Overview, Item Detail, Ordering Party, Procurement, Shipping, and Reason for Rejection. The Item Overview tab is selected. The first data entered will be the Sold to Party, Customer. To search for a customer, click on the search icon to the right of the Sold to Party field. Type star 000 into the Customer field to narrow the search results. Click the Enter icon to execute the search. Select Philly Bikes and click the Enter icon. The system copies the selected customer into the Sold to Party field. Note that the Valid From field defaults to the current date. Click on the search icon to the right of the Valid To field to display a calendar. Select a suitable date in the future and click the Enter icon. In our demo, we have selected August 11, 2010. Next, we will select the materials for the quotation. To display a list of materials, click on the search icon to the right of the material field in the first row. Type star 000 into the material field to narrow the search results to your unique identifier. Click the Enter icon to continue. Select DXTR2000 Deluxe Touring Bike Silver and click the Enter icon. Type the desired quantity, 40, into the Order Quantity field. To select another material, search for and select the desired material in the Material field, as illustrated for the first row, and then enter a desired quantity for the second material. After the desired materials have been entered into the quotation, click the Enter icon to update the quotation. The system retrieves the related master data and updates the quotation. 
Note that the Ship2 party as well as the names and addresses have been automatically added. The system also calculates the net value for the quotation. In addition, it automatically checks stock availability and calculates delivery dates. To view additional sales data, click on the Sales tab. The Sales tab contains data related to pricing, shipping, and payment terms. To view additional data, click on the Item Detail tab. The Item Detail tab contains information about one of the materials ordered. Note that the data for the first line item is displayed by default. To view the other line item data, click on the right arrow icon. The other tabs contain additional data relevant to the quotation. In this demo, we will not review these tabs. After all of the data required to create a quotation have been entered, the quotation can be saved. Click on the Save icon to save the quotation. The system saves the quotation, and it displays the quotation number assigned to the quotation in the message areas at the bottom of the screen. Note that the system returns to the Create Quotation Overview screen. Click the Exit icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will view the status of a previously created quotation, and we will display the quotation. To begin, navigate to Transaction VA23 Display, as illustrated. Type the quotation number in the Quotation field, and then click on the Environment menu. The screen displays a drop-down menu. Click on Display Document Flow. The system displays the document flow for the selected quotation. In the document flow screen, highlight the quotation and click the magnifying glass to display key data from the quotation. The system displays the key data for the quotation, such as the items, total, and status. Click the display document icon to show the full quotation details. The system displays the quotation. Demo 5.5 Create Quotation. 